let's look at what um, this management uh, professional uh, in the US uh, has to say about the issue of financial risk. So what causes financial risk in an investment? We have three uh, risks that we're going to be talking about. The first risk that we're going to talk about is debt. When you start talking about stocks and bonds, it doesn't matter either one of those investments, but if the company or the local government has a lot of debt, that is an enormous risk to you as the owner of that company or as the person supplying the loan to that company. So when we look at why a company incurs debt, um, the reason that a company takes on debt is because they want to speed up time. That's, that's all it is. It's an instrument of speeding up time. If you think about it in this terms, if a person is going to go out and buy a $300,000 house and they're going to take out a loan in order to buy it, the reason that they're taking out that loan and incurring debt is because they want to speed up time. They don't want to wait 15 to 20 years in order to save up enough money to buy that home. Instead, they're going to take out the debt and they're going to go ahead and speed up time so they can move into that house right now. So when you talk about a business, it's exactly the same thing. Um, a company incurs a lot of debt or takes on debt because they want to speed up time. They want to have that machine in order to make that product today and they don't want to have to wait five years in order to save up enough money to buy it. So you might be thinking, well, why is that bad? So I might have a little bit of a lame example here, but I'm going to use it anyway to kind of maybe symbolically uh, represent what's, what's happening here. Um, let's assume that we're playing a video game. You have 30 seconds to shoot a little rat that's running across the screen. So on the far left, we're going to start off at a normal speed. And let's say that in 30 seconds, 10 rats run across the screen. And since the rats are moving at a normal speed and you're good at the game, you can kill all 10 rats. As we speed up the, the speed of the rat, um, but we still have 30 seconds to shoot as many as we can, we actually had 14 targets that ran across the screen and we were able to shoot 12 of them, which was a little bit better than the normal speed. And then as we speed up the time, we have 18 rats in 30 seconds and now we only killed 10 because the rats are running faster and it's harder to shoot. And then we go to a ludicrous speed and we have 22 rats that run across in 30 seconds, but we were only able to kill six because the rats were moving so fast and it was really hard to shoot them. So in this example, in this silly example, we have the rat and the speed is representing the amount of debt that the company is taking on. So as that company is taking on more debt, the company is actually becoming less productive in the long run. And as you can see, it, with a little bit of debt and a manageable amount of debt, which would be the rat just gradually running a little faster, the company actually performed a little bit better. And so that's something that you need to think about. If a company has debt, that's fine. If a company has a lot of debt, that's not fine because that's uh, putting a lot of risk on you as an investor. And it always ends bad whenever you're investing in companies that incur a lot of debt. So you can maybe use this uh, silly little example to remember that as you look at your companies and you see a company that's incurring a lot of debt, that's the company you want to stay away from. They're becoming less productive instead of just sticking to that normal speed and maybe just going a little bit faster with a little bit of debt. Now, we know what risk is, but how do we handle risk? How do we build in risk into uh, project, uh, into strategy, evaluation, right? The first thing to do is the use this technique called sensitivity analysis. What is sensitivity analysis? It's very simple. The logic of sensitivity analysis is extremely simple. What we are saying is that um, the profit from a particular strategic uh, option. The profit from that option is dependent on several variables. For instance, what are the prices of the raw materials? What are the uh, salary levels that will need to be paid to skilled or to uh, specialized uh, personnel? who are brought in, who will need to be brought in, then what is the price which the consumers are willing to pay for the final product, right? What is the interest rate at which 
the debt can be uh, sourced. Okay. So, all these are uh, factors which will influence the final profit of that particular strategic option. The issue is that these different factors, these four different factors we have talked about are not equally important because some of them will impact profit much more than others will. Sensitivity analysis is a technique by which we identify which variables have the maximum impact on the profit of a particular company. So, for a given strategic uh, option, we look at the various um, uh, elements in that option, we look at the variables in that option and we see which of those variables have more impact on the final profit. One uh, very simple way of doing this is by increasing the uh, value of those variables by 10% or decreasing the value by 10% and seeing what is the impact on probability, the impact on uh, profitability, I beg your pardon. Right? So, once we use this technique to identify which of these variables will directly impact uh, profit of the company, those are the uh, variables which we need to be most careful about. So, sensitivity analysis as a technique helps us identify variables which are the variables we need to look at very carefully. For instance, um, a company which is uh, planning to get into uh, sugarcane related uh, manufacturing would need to look at the price of cane right, as one variable and uh, the changes in the price of cane, the historical changes in the price of cane would be a very important factor for that uh, company to consider. On the other hand, if you are uh, looking at a company which is uh, planning to manufacture a consumer product, right? a consumer electronic product, uh, it is planning to manufacture uh, plasma TVs for instance. Right? Now, what is the price that the customers would be prepared to pay for plasma TVs, which are a uh, little more expensive than uh, LED TVs? Right? Would customers be prepared to, would a sufficient number of customers be prepared to pay that extra amount? Right? So, there is a certain risk involved in that. Is that risk going to impact profit so much that uh, the profitability of that whole venture will be affected? So, these are the kinds of issues that sensitivity analysis will uh, raise and answer. So, at the end of this sensitivity analysis, we know precisely what are the variables we should carefully look at. Right? 